This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kathy Huey. Many grocery workers in LA County will start seeing a COVID-related pay bump, and the grocery industry is planning to fight it. It's Wednesday, February 24th. Many grocery workers in LA County are about to get a pay raise. That's because the county's Board of Soups passed a hero pay requirement this week. But California's grocery industry has plans to fight the mandate. David Wagner is here to tell us more. David, who stands to benefit here? Right, so LA County's ordinance only applies to grocery and drugstore workers in unincorporated parts of the county. So we're talking about areas that are not governed by their own city councils. And this only covers workers at larger chain stores. So workers at mom and pop grocers are left out. It's a $5 per hour pay bump. It goes into effect immediately. It is a temporary measure. It's slated to last for 120 days. Four out of five county supervisors voted for it. They said that this extra pay is needed to compensate grocery workers for the risks they've taken during this deadly pandemic. However, Supervisor Catherine Barger voted against it. She uh, said it only covers a sliver of all the county's frontline workers, and she worried it could lead to higher food prices or layoffs. LA County is not the first to pass this kind of pay bump. What's going on in other parts of SoCal? That's right. You know, similar proposals are being considered across California, including here in the city of LA. And they're already in effect in a number of places. Long Beach was one of the first to pass a grocery worker hero pay law. City council members there argued that grocery stores are earning record profits and they should share that windfall with workers. But shortly after Long Beach passed their $4 per hour pay bump, Kroger announced it was going to close two stores in Long Beach. The California Grocers Association is suing Long Beach to halt their ordinance, and it says it's going to do the same in L.A. County. Thanks for that report, David. 